Hello, and welcome to this week's tip by Open Helix. In today's tip, I would like to introduce you to the changes that have occurred at NCBI's Protein Database. You can see here on NCBI's homepage an announcement of the update, and it describes the update as providing a new look and feel on the home pages for both not only protein but also nucleotide database. It also updates the results summary pages. So let's head over to the protein database. I've selected it here in the search menu. I'm going to click search without any search term. And I am taken to the protein homepage. If you compare the home page that we're looking at now to the previous version home page, you can see a significant change. Um, previously, the protein home page had limits, preview index, history, clipboard, details tab. It referred to the database as entree protein, and you can see that there were paragraphs um, of information. Now, the database is referred to only as protein. The various tabs across the top are gone and are instead provided by these limits, advanced search, and help. And on the actual home page, there are a variety of um, hyperlinks that are organized by what they provide you. There are, is a column of um, help for using protein hyperlinks. There are protein tools that you can access through these links. And then there are other resources that you may be interested in as well. Okay, to actually enter the uh, protein database and look at results, I'm going to search for tau. Just do a very basic search and we'll look at the results page. So this is the summary results page that the announcement said were, was updated. We have this gene summary information that shows me the organisms that it was in as well as how many results I have. We also have the actual result hits. On the right you can see a variety of useful areas. Here your results are filtered by organisms, related structures, RefSeq references, by top organisms. There is a tool for finding related data, as well as a summary of your recent um, activity in PubMed searches. If we compare that to previous results summaries, you can see that there are a lot more tools on the right side, and the display is a bit different. So if we go back to our results and click on an actual um, protein page, once it loads, you can see um, that if we scroll through this page, here are some access tools on the right, as well as the main results page on the left. If I scroll through this, um, there are a variety of again, air of areas and um, tools for helping me on the right side. But if I actually compare it to a results page previously, the actual protein information is very similar. So it's mostly the use, the flow of these right sides, etc. So that's our quick tip introducing you to the changes on Entree Protein from NCBI. They're mostly usage um, and visual changes, but again, the internal main information that you rely on from protein is all still there, and you will recognize that. Thanks for joining me in today's tip. See you next week.